Well, thank you so much for coming today. Welcome to KRCB and to Studio J. Thank you for having us. What, tell me what your, um, how would you describe your music? Um, it's a difficult one. I get asked that quite a lot. Um, it's, it's very accessible. It's, what I hope people feel from it is very easy to listen to, easy to enjoy music is my uh, preference to oh. how, it's, how people see it. Well, um, we just listened to your concert here in the studio, and it's very um, resonant. There's a lot of heart resonance in listening to the music, and it also seems to me um, that there's a lot of motion in it. Yeah, there I is. know that you did... Um... Oh, Jake, you probably don't want to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know that you've scored some film and television, a lot of that, and so it seems very filmic. It is, yeah. I think when I compose even away from... The visuals, if I do it with um, uh, the visual uh, TV or film stuff, I'm always having things in my head and visuals and images that help me create the music. And I also use it as a way, um, rather than uh, using words, I use the music to express, so it has a lot, of, a lot of emotion in it, for me anyway. Tell me about the piece called To Dust. Um, again, it's one of my favourite ones, actually. Um, it's completely opposite to Finding. Finding's a very calm piece. To Dust is much more lively, sort of uplifting piece which uh, I just love to play and the musicians love to play it's just a very uh, energetic piece yeah definitely oh, do you have a favorite that one was my favorite from yeah. today for sure <laughs> yeah um, well you have done some scoring for film and particularly the Lord of the Rings the big trilogy yes yes so how did that happen um, I met Howard years ago, um, and um, it sort of all stemmed from there. Expressed, obviously, my interest in wanting to get involved, and um, went down to see him and got involved with just working on initial scores, and took it from there. And then, sort of three years later, uh, it was a brilliant experience, just amazing crew of people, and just a lot of fun. We were sort of in London doing it three months at a time, um, and just a lot of fun. The, uh. the people there, just a huge team of people, make these things happen. I'm just not one person, and um, I have great memories of it, great memories. And the last piece we're going to do is, again, for members, and it's called To Dust. Hope you enjoy it.
Um, talk about the instrumentation that you use. How did you hit on two cellos and two violins? Um, I love, I'm a cellist as well, and I love the sort of bass resonance of the instruments. And I just like combining the two and the, the upper parts, the violin parts do so much that um, the two cellos just lift it a bit more. Um, so it just seemed a perfect combination to do um, both two cellos and violins. I use um, when we recorded in air, which is the studio that uh, was owned by George Martin and the Beatles. And um, <clears throat> we used a slightly bigger group of string players for that, but the same sort of balance of, of cellos, basses versus violins. But um, it just suits my stuff. I love it. And that's kind of the combination that works for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so beautiful.